Welcome back to Medicine Made Easy with me, Kavit Indral. Now we will be discussing an important topic in malaria and that is the parasitological measurements parameter in malaria. Before that, if you have not subscribed our channel, do subscribe for more interesting videos like this and as well press the bell icon so that you will receive regular video updates. And you can share this video to your friends so that we will learn together and this video is made in such a way it is made very easy to remember in flowchart and diagram and so on. Let us now start. So basically we know malaria is a febrile illness. And this malaria is caused by intraerythrocytic parasitemia, and that parasite is plasmodium. So, to confirmly say it is malaria, we need to rely on the blood smear, and that is the most common regularly done test. So, it is microscopic evaluation of the blood smear. Thin and thick smears are being done in the same slide itself. This is a parasite. So, parasite is an antigen for a body, so we can detect antigen by rapid diagnostic kit. This antigen, uh, which is present in the parasite, can, could have developed the antibody. That can be identified by the serological test, but then still microscopic evaluation is very common done and that is very diagnostic. Now coming to measurement. Now we know it is malaria, right? So how to measure malaria? Malaria is a disease. How can we measure it? Yes, there is something an idea. So it, what was done is in pre-eradication era, there were some uh, measurements. Now in er eradication era, there are other measurements. Let us now see um, just the uh, outline of the pre-eradication era which is not done now. Previous days in pre-eradication era they have been using spleen and average spleen rate. For spleen rate adults are not included because adults have other conditions that involve spleen so they are not included. Average spleen rate then there is parasite rate and parasite density index then infant parasite rate. Remember this infant parasite rate is the most common and sensitive index which you have been using in pre-eradication era to measure malaria. And this is uh, actually why this is more sensitive is it shows that recent infection in locality. Next is proportion case rate, crude, crude uh, calculation or measurement. This is all pre-eradication. Now coming to eradication era. Before we go into eradication era, let us see because now what we are going to do, what, what, how we are going to identify is through the blood smear, right? Microscopic examination. So this is the thin smear. And this is a thick smear. Let us take like this. So here we can find the species itself. So falciparum we are finding. Just to remember only I am showing this diagram. And here it is a, we can see parasite for sure. Because there is a thick smear. So even a few parasites can be visualized. So parasites are present. And this is a blood smear. What are the indices? One, there is blood examination we are doing. So annual blood examination rate. Next is parasite is present. It means what is the annual parasite index. Next is the parasite rate. So what is the slide positivity rate? So this parasite is seen. It means it is for, it is for sure it is malaria in the patient. So it is a slide positivity rate. Next is falciparum is present. Yes. So what is it? It is um, annual falciparum rate and annual falciparum index. Okay. So these are all the uh, um, Parasitological parameters which is used in the eradication era. ABER, SPR, API, AFR, AFI. Let's now see the important points for that. See, annual plasmodium index says if it is more than 2 per 1000 population, that means it is an high risk area. It needs control. ABER, what is ABER? It is annual blood examination. It means it says that operational efficiency. It is uh, it is like uh, for whoever the patient coming with fever, we have to screen their blood smear for malaria. The aim is to at least screen 10% of the population. Even though the malarial incidence is reducing, prevalence is reducing, but still you need to do 10% of population screening. Next, SPR and SFR, they are basically rate, right? So um, they are going to show the trend of transmission of malaria. Now we have seen the transmission, right? This this way but we don't know where is it transmitting in india right so to know that we, it is important to know that vector indices so to by knowing vector indices what we know is the epidemiological picture of malaria and quantitative assessment of malaria like this is what uh, we have done no so eradication era here just to make a pictorial representation only so this is malaria in india what we have seen by you help by with the use of vector indices you are going to see where the epidemiological picture of malaria in an area. Now, this is the diagram. See, this is an infected person. This is a um, female anopheles mosquito, infected female anopheles mosquito, and this is a healthy man. From this guy, this mosquito is going to take the blood meal and is going to bite this guy. 
around this guy there are many other mosquitoes so first is mosquito density mosquito density na it is number of mosquitoes per man per hour cats next after this what happen this mosquito is going to take the blood meal no? it has the human fresh blood okay so it is a uh, sporocyte rate sporocyte rate means uh, this mosquito salivary gland should have sporocyte that is called sporocyte rate next is human blood index human blood index means the blood which is taken from the human that is the fresh blood which is taken by the human from the human by this mosquito it shows the degree of anthropheism next is um, man biting rate man biting rate means how much that is average number of female anopheles mosquito that is biting the man per day that is called man biting rate at last is inoculation rate inoculation rate is this mosquito are going to inoculate what i said right to remember mosquito s and q is going to inoculate s and p that is sporocyte so it's going to inoculate the sporocyte this is inoculation rate is uh, calculated as this um, infected sporocyte rate into the man biting rate if you are still not convinced a eh, what how uh, this epidemiological picture is made means now i am giving the clue see i said this human blood index is degree of anthropheism anthropheism means the mosquito is going to bite more for human it is going to take more um, that from the humans right what is the vector that is going to be more anthropheliic it is fluviatilis you know fluviatilis is going to present where it is in the hills and forest now can you uh, pictureize epidemiological uh, trend of this malaria yes that's what it is so female anopheles mosquito there's anopheles fluviatilis is more anthropheliic so we can localize it okay from here and here this mosquito is uh, biting and this uh, spread of malaria is going taking place so this is all about our discussion on the parasitological measurement of um, measurement parameters in malaria thank you so much we'll meet in the next video until then stay tuned